Hey ladies, so this is a very long overdue video that I really wanted to do for a long time. I just never got the chance to uh, organize it. So anyways, I've organized my whole entire beauty station as you guys can tell so I can show you guys what I have uh, collected in the past almost two years that I started, uh, you know, doing YouTube videos and really getting into makeup and I love these types of videos so if you guys like this video please give this a thumbs up. I wanted to start off on this side when I show you guys my makeup collection slash beauty uh, station. So here on our left, uh, I know you guys have seen hand sanitizer and wondering probably why am I showing you hand sanitizer. Long story short, I like having hand sanitizer at my side because you know when you touch other things, for instance, as you guys can tell, that's my MacBook. When you touch like your laptop or if you're like eating food, I mean I don't know if that's weird if you eat. I always like to have hand sanitizer because I don't like other germs touching my like makeup germs if that if that makes sense. Like I don't like having my makeup um, get have germs from like other things. So yeah that's why I always think that if you guys have um, a really serious about your makeup I really suggest having hand sanitizer near you. But this is a painting that my friend free drew the whole thing um it was just a happy um it was just a birthday gift so yeah i just thought i'd show you guys that i thought it just looks cute with the black table uh over here i always love to have uh, a towel as well you guys can see a whole stack here but i always love to have a towel um also by me because you know if I accidentally put too much uh, concealer or foundation or I want to reuse a brush with a different shadow but I don't want the shadow colors mm -hmm. to mix I always like to have it here so I could wipe it and then this mirror right here I actually got at Ikea as you guys can tell it's a heart shape I just mm -hmm. thought it was so cute so I had to get it it was like five bucks so like yeah Ikea has a lot of cute stuff that can help you spice up any part of your room that you're trying to decorate. So yeah, I would definitely recommend going there. Over here, I just have uh, these Artistry products, which was actually a gift, and um, it's like the simple uh, skincare, not simple like it's not good, but simple in a way that it's the most basic. And um, yeah, I also got a makeup bag with it. If you guys can tell, it says Artistry right here. And uh, you guys will be seeing a video if you wanna check it out. Um, it'll probably come up before I put up this video, but um, yeah, it basically just ex uh, explains my experience at this uh, medical spot that I went to in New Jersey because that's where I'm from. And yeah, I experienced artistry for the first time and you guys will hear my full review on the place and the, my experience with artistry. So yeah, that's that. And then I have a, um, a few Mac uh, stuff that I actually was going to give to Back to Mac, which basically if you guys don't know what Back to Mac is, Back to Mac is a program that every single, um, every six um, things that you can give back you get I believe it's either one lipstick or you get one eyeshadow and uh, what really disappointed me though is I just found out like I worked so hard to like or of course my boyfriend helped me but we worked so hard to depot these and then I actually found out with the older ones that you want to give away you actually have to have um, the metal in it um, whether you finish the eyeshadow or not or it doesn't count so that's kind of disappointing so yeah I'm just keeping it there I don't really know why but I have nowhere else to put them anyways um, over here I just have my sorry I have my hair products uh, this is a hairspray and then this is like a heat protectant spray and I really love both I use it definitely when I curl my hair um, and I use this which is bio silk which is a um, serum and I love to use that when I straighten my hair and hair. And this here is just a spray bottle that I got, which I use for, uh, you know, kind of damping my beauty blender, which brings me to my next section, which my beauty blenders are actually back here. Actually, just, excuse me, sorry, not beauty blenders, but that's what everyone knows it as, but it's actually, I call them beauty sponges but basically I got this one at TJ Maxx and I think it's so cute and it actually I think much more reminds me of the actual beauty blender that I think came out in Sephora rather than this one that I got at Target but I think that this one works much better and this one's actually yeah and so I like to uh, 
separate my uh, stuff with um, these little organizers that I actually got at five below. And what I put in here, as you guys can t as I mentioned before, my beauty sponges, uh, a kabuki brush, my other kabuki brush over here, because if you guys see over here, as you guys can tell, uh, this one is e.l.f. This one is e.l.f. Um, these two foundations brushes are e.l.f. as well. Um, sorry if I'm jumping around too. I hope that's cool. These over here are real techniques. This one's a blush one. And oh, there's my phone. And this one is my foundation brush. And uh, this one I love. It's the brand icing which is if you guys don't know it's the older sister brand of the accessory store called claire's which i'm sure if you guys grew up uh, in canada or the u.s that you guys went to it as a little girl but anyways their makeup brushes are awesome i would have bought more at the time but i didn't have enough money but yeah their fan brush is amazing but they're affordable there we go but yeah they have all of their brushes online i checked up oh and this is sigma i totally didn't see that one there, but yeah, this is Sigma, and I use this as uh, a contouring brush to contour my face, of course. And uh, I love Sigma, although it's more on the pricey side, but I totally think it's worth it for certain brushes. It's pretty good. So yeah, that's that, and then, so these are mostly my face brushes over here, or just all of my... Uh, Eye brushes uh, and two brushes that I want to show you guys. Where is it? Okay, so these two also Sigma. Again, like I said, they're a little bit more on the pricey side, but I love it. I will show you guys in the mirror right now. Ah, uh, I can't figure this out. Okay, here I am. So uh, as you guys can tell, um, in my lid and then on my outer lid, I have uh, two Mac shadows, and then on. The top of those, I have a transition color. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. And you guys can see that on my Instagram, which I will link down below. And uh, basically, I love these brushes. They are like the most amazing team ever. This is a... This is a... Tapered blending brush. This really gives that diffused look, and you sweep that across... Uh, your eyelid for a transition color and then this here is where I mentioned uh, before here I go again trying to figure out how to use this but yeah if you see my purple shadow in the outer corners the smaller tapered brush there we go um, is really great for that or any much smaller blending brush that you have but definitely out of the two I would say that you definitely want uh, the bigger fluffy brush which brings me to the next brush that I wanted to talk about this one is by Sonia Kashuk and this was money but yeah this is very similar to this uh, Sigma brush which is actually the E4, E40 there we go uh, as you guys can tell they're both blending brushes except I think this one um, is a little bit more fluffier but this one definitely does just as good of, as good but yeah and then of course there are other brushes just thought I'd show you guys um, how I um, store them is I just have random cups. You could really use anything. I would definitely recommend glass just because you want to protect them. Uh, this is actually an ice cream uh, uh, cup thing so I thought that was cute. And then this was just like a jar that I got a retreat. So yeah that's where I store my stuff and then I also like to have my eyelash curler hanging here. So these are all my brushes. I hope that that was informative. Sorry if that uh, was really annoying, but I definitely wanted to explain it. And then back here, I just like to have my uh, setting sprays, which if you guys don't know what a setting spray is, a setting spray is basically uh, a spray to lock in all of your makeup once you've put it all on. This one is the Fix Plus by MAC. Oh yeah, and it smells really good, which is awesome. And then, whoops, don't want to drop that. This is uh, my travel one. This is the Urban Decays. And then back here, I just have my uh, makeup brush cleanser by Clinique. It's a little pricey, but I think it works well. I actually have been wanting to try other... Uh, makeup uh, brush cleaners just to see um, if they're any better but these are just like mini kabuki brushes that I got oops I dropped it these were from Sally Beauty yeah and these were like 25 cents which are awesome and I got them in the sales section just I like to have it if I want to do makeup on my friends and stuff and this is a random uh, I don't know what it's called but you can basically take it and like mix your 
lipstick. I don't know what that's called. Spatula, maybe? I don't know. And then just other random stuff in there. Oh, and then here, um, I like to keep all of my eyelashes, as you guys can tell. Most of these are, uh, Ardell, and these are, yeah, these are mostly Andrea and Ardell, which are drugstore, uh, eyelashes and these over here are creme which I love 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 I cannot tell you guys how amazing these are and they're only like 290 they're very similar to red cherry I would say that's basically the same thing and uh, I would say if you guys are looking for eyelashes to wear every day um, they actually come in three different sizes they're the creme's 747's and this one's in large hence the L said oh okay sorry that's kind of upside down but yeah these are what the mediums look like um and oh and these are the small so perfect there you go um and so yeah you guys can replay that back to try to compare the sizes but oh, okay uh you get a good few uses out of it and then it has an invisible band which i love i really hate thick uh bands i think it looks kind of tacky and i don't know i don't like them you guys have a love culture near you or if you guys are um online shoppers definitely go on amazon hit that up and yeah i think they're definitely more worth it than going to like your typical drugstore and getting those even though i still love ardell's um actually i want to show you guys one of my favorite lashes from ardell and um i apologize that it's kind of dirty oh no yeah but they're called wispies um not the demis but the wispies and i don't know i i'm sorry that i actually haven't taken the glue out i haven't uh had a chance to clean them but yeah if you guys can tell they just I don't know they just look different and I love them and they're also very good for like every day if you want to have that little um if you want to spice up your eye makeup so that's that so this oh yeah and I just want to show you guys is how cute is this my friend made it again the same friend who made up here this was actually a plate award and as you guys can tell I had to put a post-it over my last name because I don't want anyone to be creepy stalking me but yeah I uh, just won a plate award which is kind of cute if you guys don't know what a plate award is, it's basically, you know, when you do awards and stuff, you just have a plate and you paint it and you just write something fun about your friend or your if you're a teacher or a student or whatever it may be. And yeah, so that's what I won because my friends know I love makeup and they love to, um, it's really great. I have a lot of support. So shout out to my friends. Thank you so much for supporting me. Love you guys. Oh yeah. And then this is just a random uh, pee that I got at my local craft store. And I don't know, I just think it like add something to it. I, I got this idea from Tumblr, but instead of putting it on my table, I velcroed, I glued it and like velcroed it onto my wall, if that makes sense. These are my flowers from Ikea, of course. Love the colors. So yeah, this is this side, and then comes, here comes the more fun stuff. So this is my makeup container. I got it at Walmart, I want to say. It has three drawers. So now I'm going to go into the drawers and show you guys uh, what I have. So here in the first drawer is my face makeup. Oh, and here are just some random in individual lashes. So yeah, these are just from Sephora. Um, these are my face makeup thingamajigs. My face, my face makeup products. There we go. And uh, this is my concealer. I love it. It's from... Walmart. It's called uh, Hard Candy. I think it's actually, excuse me, sorry, I just scratched myself. Um, I think it's uh, popular in Canada. I could be wrong, but I just saw that on someone else's video. But yeah, this is really great and it's an affordable price. And what I love, and I wish it actually came in a bigger size, but it comes with a pencil, which is really great when you want to carve out your um, eyebrows, if you know what I mean. If you want to make them look really, really like on point, this is great. And if I could buy a concealer pencil this thin, Please tell me if you guys know. And I just have a bunch of Clinique stuff, as you guys can tell. This is my bronzer. Pretty sure these are a bunch of stuff that you get with their bonuses. Love it, love it. And I took the brushes out. But yeah, I have a bunch of these. And I'm not going to show you guys everyone. But yeah, it typically comes with blush and eyeshadow. So yeah, that's awesome to be able to try other um, or many colors. Back here, I got my blushes. This is uh, e.l.f. This is not a blush, but it, I think it was in the blush section it is okay you guys can't see that but it is pink ta pink tastic sorry there we go and what i love about it is you can really use it for a highlighter and i think it's significantly cheaper rather than not that i don't love mac but you know if you're on a budget uh like me sometimes i like to spend a little less money on makeup 
and then random powder, but I didn't really like the powder from e.l.f., so, but I used it up anyways, and then this powder I was super impressed with. It was only like four or five bucks uh, that I got at Ulta. This is a uh, Rimmel Stay Matte. I heard a lot of people uh, raving about it, so then I had to try it, and as you guys can tell, I've been liking it so far because I'm, I've already hit pan. So yeah, I really love this, and I wouldn't say it lasts as long as it's, it says it does, but... And then back here, I have a bunch of uh, blushes. Again, super affordable, so, you know, it's good to kind of stock up on that and try different colors. Uh, I got some foundations. I actually did a review on these two, so if you guys are interested, I'll put the links down below. This one is uh, Clinique's Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. I love it. And uh, this is just BB Cream. I'm sure you guys have seen that. Nothing special. I have another BB Cream. Oh, here it is. Not BB creams, excuse me, sorry. It is a foundation, but it's sheer. And uh, BB creams are also a sheer to, I guess, light coverage. So that's that. And oh yeah, here is just a uh, contouring blush and bronzer duo. I think it comes in like three colors. But yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen this. It looks kind of like NARS, as people have been saying. And then my second section, I have all of my eyeshadow makeup, which I definitely had to organize for you guys because it was like all over the place. Long story short, um, this uh, palette what is from Smashbox and Smashbox. Oh my god, I talk so fast. But yeah, I really love the colors as you guys can tell. This is a really great transition color and I love this gold color here and then this taupe color here. These are like the three main ones that I use. And actually, if you guys are looking for um, brand name makeup for significantly cheaper, I would definitely suggest hitting up the local cosmetic company store if you are in the United States. And then this is my uh, MAC palette and I was actually surprised, uh, funny story, I just found out that their individual shadows and their actual case is significantly cheaper which is awesome. The shadows instead of $12, uh, they are $10 and now the actual case instead of much more, it's only $8. So yeah, I, uh, I'll show you guys really fast if you guys have never seen a MAC. Thing. And sorry if I'm struggling a bit, it's because, you know, I only have one hand to hold stuff. But yeah, basically what I really love is that they have on the back with a magnet. Ooh, I almost dropped it there. Um, the name of the um, eyeshadow, which is super great. So yeah, that's that. And I love MAC, totally would suggest it. Um, and then, you know what, I'll just start stacking stuff up here. But yeah, uh, these over here are just my primers, Urban Decay, love you, and oh yeah, this one is Urban Decay as well, but I don't know why it's like peeling. But yeah, this one I actually got at Nordstrom Rack, which is the, I guess you could say, sale store of Nordstrom store, and uh, this was significantly cheaper, and the only difference was that um, this one's more clear, and this one kind of gives you like a yellowy uh, color. This one is... okay, there's no... Oh, Eden, there we go, but it's just not focusing. But yeah, this one's Eden, these, and then these are just a few loose glitters that I got, and these are from NYX. And uh, Avon shadows, which I'm actually not crazy about, and I feel bad because I super love Avon, but not too crazy about the shadows, but I have it there. Victoria's Secret, random stuff from Costco, another one from MAC. Clinique also, which I want to show you guys. What I love about the Clinique products is that... Um, if you get the silver ones, as you guys can tell, there's a reflection. Hey, there's me again. And and then back here, I have more shadows. One Wild, uh, Sally Beauty, NYC, S.A. Lauder is somewhere under there. And then I have all of my eyeliners. And I really love this eyeliner by Clinique. Um, it has a smudger thing and it has a twistable, if I can get it, twistable, if you guys can tell. But yeah, this... Um, is a really great eyeliner and I actually think it lasts really long compared to actually I don't have it anymore But yeah, these are much better than coal eyeliners even though I don't really know what this would be called But it's definitely not a coal or maybe it is. I don't know. Let's see. I Don't know what it is, but yeah, I really love that and then just more eyeshadow. I mean eyeliners and then oh uh, These are really great uh, eyelash glue um, instead of using the eyelash glue that the eyelashes 
that come with the eyelashes, I would definitely suggest investing in the dual ones. You can buy them at MAC, you can buy them at Sephora, you can buy them at Target. They're pretty much everywhere, and I really love it. And I actually have the dark tone, and I have the uh, clear tone. Sometimes I'm too lazy to stick on my eyeliner, so when you actually put on your eyelashes with the dark tone glue, it actually gives the illusion that you put on eyeliner you didn't. So yeah, I would definitely suggest investing in both. And this is my current two favorite mascaras and I'm using them as a combo. I put this one first, which is the Rocket Volume and then the Mega Plush. So this one gives like volume as you guys can tell by the title. And this one, it uh, kind of separates the lashes of the combo and this one by Artistry. Again, I haven't tried that so it's gonna feel bad. Uh, liquid eyeliner and oh, back here. Let me Pull it out for you guys. Whoops. There we go. I just have a bunch of tools back here. I love to have sharpeners. I like to replace them every so often. You know, germs can definitely get in there. And then when you're putting different eyeliners, different brands, you know, sticking fingers in it to get the stuff out, uh, definitely it can build up germs very fast and not germs excuse me sorry bacteria so I definitely like to have spare ones and then just uh, some disposable eyeshadow uh, sponge thing with jigs that you can apply on your friends and tweezers oh and uh, I always love to have replacements for my eyelash curler you really don't want to mess with your mascara so if you're a big eyelash curler person or even even if you're not but you definitely have but you have one you definitely want to replace it every two months just as the same thing as your mascara and then oh yeah these are just random uh, free uh, mirrors that I got Sephora and Clinique so I'll just put that over there over here is Probably my favorite part of my whole makeup collection, which is my lips. It would probably go lips, face, and then... No, wait, excuse me, sorry. Lips, eyes, eyelashes, and then face. But I really love lip products, as you guys can tell. Um, these over here, these lip glosses, they're all very similar, but I didn't buy them um, individually. I got them as a whole set. It was NYX's or NYX's Love's Anthem, which was uh, a set that came out last year but I really love these pink ones this pink one and these they really remind me of these two Angel and Saint Germain which again like I mentioned if you guys want to look for brand name cosmetics for a cheaper price which I love to save money I don't know about you guys but I love saving money and I love to suggest things so people can also save money definitely you want to go to the cosmetic company store unfortunately they do not have an online store so that's the only downside and you have to travel like lens but yeah if you ever get a chance to get to go to an outlet mall definitely suggest that and then this is just a uh, Clinique uh, lip stick and lip gloss duo and Avon lip gloss I haven't tried oh and over here which you guys can get at your local beauty store I do not think that they sell it at Sephora or an Ulta but definitely at your local uh, beauty supply store they're like little jars and like I mentioned before with uh, this thing this is what you use to kind of take uh, colors or pieces from your lipstick and then you combine it which I will show you guys here even though it's kind of hard to tell but yeah I have mixed it and these are like super cheap and I just love to have it I kind of feel like a scientist I don't know if that sounds nerdy but yeah that's that's that and I love to have that and then oh these are just makeup wands back here oh and I have these uh, lip liners which I definitely want to get more I just have the starter three main colors which is pink nude and red I wear a uh, red lipstick probably not that often but when I do I definitely like to put on my lip liner and then um, as well if I put on nude uh, lipstick but pink I feel like I can get away I don't know why but yeah definitely if you guys are starting with lip liner or definitely say uh, start off with these three colors but yeah if you guys are um, beauty lovers on a budget definitely suggest uh, NYX or NYX I don't even know how to pronounce it but I pronounce it both ways uh, these are some color whispers which um, I also want to mention if you guys um, are in the US and have a loved one in the military there's something called the PX which is basically a place where uh, military uh, personnels and families can go and um, they their makeup is cheaper uh, where is my Clinique oh for instance like this um, Clinique is actually 20% off at certain PX's so if you guys are 
Clinique uh, lovers and know someone who's a member of a PX, definitely want to ask them. So you guys can get that discount. Uh, these are just some MAC lipsticks. Uh, I don't know which order, but I have Myth, Rebel, and Snob. And I actually discovered that Myth was way too light for me. I'll actually show you guys Myth. Oh, yay. And these are all satin as well, but... This is Myth, and I apologize if my lighting is not that great, but yeah, it's really not as dark as I thought it would be, so I don't know, I just have it, now, it's, it's a great mixing color though, I would say that. And then, um, CoverGirl, uh, lipsticks packaging, and Avon lipsticks, oh my gosh, like, you guys are going to see it when I do my favorite uh, affordable lipsticks, but I love Avon lipsticks. I've actually used, bought these and re, um, repurchased more, but I really love Avon lipsticks. I think they're pretty good. They're only $4 and the finishes are really nice. And But the only thing, of course, is that they don't actually have a store. They only have uh, online and through catalogs, so you can't really tell the colors. But yeah, just thought I'd talk about that. Um, Wet n Wild, I'm sure you guys have heard of these. These are really pigmented and they're super, super affordable. And, and then I have Kate Rimmel lipsticks. Oh my god, these also smell really, really good. And uh, the packaging is so cute. These are Kate by Rimmel. And then Palladio, which uh, not that many people talk about, but personally. And then, oh, these two. I love this uh, combo. As you guys can tell, I'm saying love because I, well, I really love my makeup collection. But this is a really great uh, combo. This is a scrub, which basically, it's kind of like a lip exfoliator and uh, definitely gets rid of your chapped lip and then you just kind of, and it's edible, so you rub it on your lips and then you can eat it and then you top this off with their lip balm. Definitely uh, Lush is a really great brand in which they're super helpful and they're very knowledgeable, so if you guys have any questions about uh, Lush, I would say definitely go to the store and ask them. But uh, this is just a EOS uh, balm. I'm sure you guys can that. Car Carmex. And that is that. So this is my whole collection. And I hope you guys like this video. And again, here is just an overview of my makeup. And yeah, this is my makeup collection. So I hope you guys like this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.